Well, it seems like we prefer writing for women. Yes. I think I always have. Um, women are just more interesting than men. Sorry, men. Wow. Wow. Um, men can. Not disagreeing, but wow. Men, men, men consume me. No, I mean we really love writing for strong women. I, I I've been I've been doing it my whole career, and um, it's just uh, we 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 love them and we hate men. Sorry, cameraman. Wow. Okay, first of all, we don't hate men. Men are delightful. Um, here's one of them. But it, they're just you know I mean it's it really is. It's not like we wake up in the morning and we and we think, what's a hot strong woman we can like? You know, it's just sort of like. A character comes to you, or a line of dialogue, or a voice comes to you, and then you're kind of like, "Yeah, there we go." So, it's it's just sort of it's in the it's whatever you how much you had to drink the night before. Apparently, is it's always it, dependent it's, on that. Yeah, it's the cocktail mm. count. Yeah. It means a lot. I mean, especially the fact that this is the first ever Native American television show with a full Native writers' room, full Native directors, and full Native main cast. Uh, it's a historical moment, never been done before in Hollywood. And uh, I'm grateful that uh, our first show is the one that's going to open up many doors for other other projects like Killers of the Flower Moon and more more indigenous content out there. You know. And what has that been like to kind of see Lily get her flowers and all? Yes, of it? yes, I was uh, very proud. You know, she's the first Native American woman to win an uh, uh, an award for that. So you know, I'm very proud of her. You know, it's historical. I'm happy. You know. Yes. Awesome. I mean, obviously you can't really do it again, right? Like, have you guys talked about trying to figure out a way to, like... We have. I mean, obviously, when you have something that strikes, the, the, the has such a cultural moment like a show like Jury Duty did, um, and the popularity and everyone just loved it. It came out of left field and it was something original. You want to give them more of that, of course. In this, in this case, it's difficult because it's, you know, it, it, it requires, the, the, like, the... Um, the element of surprise, I guess. So we're trying to figure out how that would work with a different backdrop, a different setting, different people probably, but uh, I'm sure there'll be something happening. Yeah, I'm not. 100%. I mean, that's, Turnstile is like, that, that show changed my life. A friend introduced me to them and I was like, what have I been doing before this? It was so insane. Um, no, we were just talking about this because so much music is the, the you know has has shaped who we are and, yep. and what we make. It's really like and, I don't know. and shapes everybody. Shapes I mean, everybody. That's the real truth. It's like music, every dude. person who makes anything is has the the tapestry of everything they've loved yeah. in their life yeah. shaping whatever they're making. Yeah. That's yeah. Real. We love my chem. We love yeah. my chem. And turnstile. Do you guys ever think about like maybe getting outside of the genre that you kind of like or get like maybe going harder? I was going to say that we try to not like subscribe to genre too hard. Yeah. So I think whenever we feel that way, we just make we whatever just make we whatever want. We want. And if it feels authentic and it feels like it represents who we are, we'll put it out. You know. Yeah. Sometimes we make stuff that we're like, ooh, that's a little embarrassing, and we hide it. But most of the time, we make stuff that we like and we work on it until we're proud of it, and then we, you know, give it to people. Yeah.